Bora TV. The world is thinking. Um, but I mean, we know that within 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 Anglo cultures, we have this huge fight about about the production of foie gras, and that uh, that you know that somehow evil and cruel to animals. Um, how do you feel about the sort of arguments that go on there? I think it's a bullshit issue. Uh, you know, if first of all, I don't. Surely, somewhere in Romania, there is indeed a factory where they are jamming pipes into helpless birds who are nailed to boards and pumping food into them. That produces something called bad foie gras. You know, uh, you mistreat an animal, an animal that is stressed in fear, uh, and it, it tends to be a bad-tasting animal. On, this, on these grounds alone, you want to, you know, chefs generally want animals to live pretty happy, stress-free lives. They provably taste less delicious if they're mistreated. Every single chicken ever yeah. served by, the, you know, Kentucky well, Fried Chicken the, lives well, a much worse eggs, life. Isn't it? I mean, they're quite prepared to torture chickens. Uh, and, uh, for, uh, you know, stop, Listen, stop, 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 I'm stop, just saying, animal, animal well, activists yeah. have picked on this issue because it's an easy win. It's yeah. food consumed by rich people that most people haven't had. Okay. There are French involved, so it's an easy... <laughs> It, it, it's, a, it's, an easy, it's an easy win. If you've actually been to see how foie gras is prepared, uh, and, and you study the, the physio physiognomy of the animal. And you see them uh, lining up to, it is, to you see them lining up to be You know, the, they're not being asked to do anything that, you know, any self-respecting adult film star can't do three times <laughs> a day. But I think, I think, I think the point is, 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 about, is about foie gras, I, is that most Ghanaian dishwashers are treated far worse than any of the geese that make foie gras. I mean, I think, I think so, I, well, wait, before you start worrying about I mean, what, the, what the duck had for tea, you should worry about... The, uh, fish, uh, no, but I think you should be more concerned about the welfare of people who work in kitchens. Right. Well, I think, well, yeah, I think you're most likely right. Uh, although, you know, in our kitchens, be, be, I think you know, they're, they're dying to work in them. This is a, I, think a, it's very tough, I think it's very tough in England and in the States. It, it, is a lead, it is a lead, it is a spear point issue for people whose real agenda is that we don't hurt or kill any animals. That we, at the end of the road, they want to give chickens the well, vote. this is the point, I guess. I mean, asking, asking you about hunting. Um, you know, but, I mean, at what, at what stage of food production do we do we actually do we say this well, has I, gone too I, far? I was a I was a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for nine years, and because I went to a vegetarian boarding school, I, the only one in England they really? found for me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and and when I and when I when I left, got thrown out. They, um, I, I decided I was going to eat meat again, but that if I was going to eat meat, I had to be prepared to do the whole process. I mean, I don't think that you can. For me, I couldn't jump into being a carnivore just when it looked like a brick. You know, it wasn't, you know, if someone else took the head and the feet off it, that was fine for me. I had to be prepared to do all of it, or otherwise I didn't have the right to eat any of it. So, I mean, with, with somebody like Peter Singer, for me, the only answer to Peter Singer is... Well, who's I'm, Peter Singer? Peter Singer is a, is a, is a moralist who's, who's written about, about, about these matters. And for me, the, the, answer, the answer to somebody like Singer is, well, I actually, actually, I am prepared, in the event of an emergency, to eat human flesh. Um, that, in fact, I, you know, I really, How do we get to that? How do we get, well, how do we get from trying, foie gras trying, trying, I'm, I'm to I'm you trying. chewing on little boys? Well, I'm not English. Yeah. <laughs> Plainly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think it would be useful. I think every, everyone who... I mean, let's face it, you are killing an animal. Meat, meat comes from a dead animal, so I think it, it, it is useful and, and, and correct that we know where our food comes from. It is useful and correct that anyone who, in a perfect world, I think any chef who, eat, who serves meat, it's probably a good idea to get up close to your victim once. I mean, uh, you, should, you should know. Uh, you know, we all love pork. Uh, you know, s stabbing a pig in the heart uh, makes you less inclined to waste your pork yeah. after you've done it. Uh, you know, it's funny you bring up the human flesh issue, though, because this is the last argument, the last wail from the, you know, vegan uh, PETA-type activist. They say, well, you know, you eat pig, but would you eat human flesh? You know, hey, two weeks out on the lifeboat? Hell yeah. You know, <laughs> if you're not doing your share of the rowing, uh, Jumbo, <laughs> you're... <laughs> that's, that's precisely my point. No, but I think there's, there's also, there is, a, there is another question about eating people. What, what is it about your 
the food on your plate that you think isn't about eating other people. We are all of us eating other people's habitats, we're eating their lives, we're eating their labor, we're eating their children, we're eating their water, their fresh air, all of those things. We eat people all the time. You don't just have to cut a bit off someone. So, so, so what we're saying, which I think we agree, uh, is that in fact the, mora the morality uh, that, is being, that is being publicized along these lines is in fact a false morality, because it's not actually taking in, into consideration the condition of our fellow human beings and the rest Well, I don't of know if it's a false morality, I just so don't agree with it. Yeah. I also don't really care if animals suffer. If I'm perfectly honest, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not see it. Yeah. You know, once you've heard one pig scream, it's the second one's easier. <laughs> you know, well, I've said it like and, that, and he's right. <laughs> That, you know, when it's that scene in Pulp Fiction, not Pulp Fiction, uh, True Romance, he says, you know, the, the, the first one's pretty easy, the second one's the bitch of the bunch. <laughs> you know, he's talking about killing people. Um, you learn something about yourself when you, you know, you, 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 you kill a pig, you know. It, uh, yeah.